My name is Dr. Matthew Soff and I'm a gastroenterologist with Digestive Care. And I have a feeling that either you or someone you know has had the problem of intermittent chronic abdominal pain that is associated with bowel movements that are not normal. And I have a feeling that that person, you or someone you know, has been to one or more doctors multiple times. And they've gone through blood tests and CAT scans and x-rays and perhaps even a colonoscopy or an upper endoscopy. And when the doctor's finished with all the fancy testing, they come out and they tell you, all the tests are normal. Everything is fine. There is nothing wrong. And you say, but I have pain. I have bowel problems. How could there be nothing wrong? And then you go home and you think, I must be crazy. I got pain. I have problems going to the bathroom something is wrong and what it shows is that in 2015 even with all the fancy technology the fancy science that we have the most important part of the doctor patient interaction is the something that's really very special it's the doctor's ability to listen to the patient when the patient brings to the doctor his or her symptoms and has the time to actually explain what's going on, it gives the doctor an opportunity to process the pattern of symptoms so that the physician can make the diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome. Because when a person has chronic abdominal pain that's associated with bowel problems, almost always that person will have irritable bowel. Now, irritable bowel does not show up on any of our fancy tests. CAT scans and colonoscopies and blood tests are irrelevant for the diagnosis of IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. And what's very important for both the patient and the doctor to take the time to understand what's happening to that patient, because it's interesting, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, does not cause cancer and does not cause early death, but it causes tremendous debility. People are unable to go to work. People are unable to go to school. People are unable to leave the house and go to a restaurant and go shopping without worrying about, will they have to run to the bathroom? So once the physician, working with the patient, once they are able to make the diagnosis of IBS and modify the diet, perhaps prescribe some treatment, perhaps prescribe some stress management. Once the treatment is started, the patient dramatically feels better because there is a diagnosis, they understand what is happening to them, they understand that there is no serious life-threatening condition, but they, instead they have a condition that alters and affects the quality of their life and that condition can be treated. So ladies and gentlemen, if you or a friend or someone you know has chronic abdominal pain associated with bowel problems, seek out the services of a board certified gastroenterologist, one perhaps at digestive care, because through your work with the physician, the diagnosis and treatment plan can be established. Thank you so much for your attention.